A carjacking at a popular local shopping center. A man and woman were about to leave Triangle Town Center when a crook took off with their car with the woman already inside. In a story you'll see only on CBS 17, our Amy Cutler is joining us now live from that shopping center. And you had a chance to talk to the woman's husband about this ordeal. I can only imagine what, uh, that it's been a tough time for them. What's going through his mind right now? Yeah, Rod, he tells me that they are both lucky to be alive. His wife remains in the hospital tonight. She has three broken ribs. As for the suspect, he's also at the hospital with a broken back. I almost lost my wife. Two days after the carjacking, and Michael Farello is still trying to wrap his mind around what happened. It, it went from, you know, Grand Theft Auto, the, the video, to Grand Theft Auto. Real life. It was Saturday afternoon. Farello and his wife Heidi were at Triangle Town Center to do some shopping. Macy's having a big sale on linens, a cashier helping them bring their bags out. Fiorello says his wife brought the car around, leaving the driver's side door open as she went around to the passenger side. That's when the suspect ran up and jumped in, his wife still in the passenger seat. I said, Oh no, this is not going to happen. I stepped in front of the bumper. He proceeded to try to put the car in gear, turning it off, and he struggled. And at that inference, that millisecond, something came over me from above, and I said, Move. That suspect later identified as Talon Custer floored it, crashing the brand new vehicle nearby. And somebody tried to steal a car. We had Triangle Town Center um, by Macy's. By Macy's, um, the car flipped over. Both Custer and Heidi trapped inside. Thank God those those linens were in front of my wife. They were a buffer when the vehicle hit. She hit the linens instead of flying through the windshield. Yeah, Michael says that those doctors at the hospital told him that those linens really made a difference for his wife. He also wanted me to mention those folks that stopped to help him on Saturday afternoon. They stopped to make sure he was okay. They called 911 and they prayed with him. He tells me they made all the difference. Live in Raleigh, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News. What a story. All right, Amy, thank you.